Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Carlos. Good evening, Diego. How are you tonight? Great. Good to hear. Good to hear. Okay, we're about to start now. Every class, don't wait for me. You can start the class saying hello to your classmate. So go ahead, try to have a conversation. Let's see if you can do it. Hi, good evening. What's Hi, going good. on, guys? Good. Everything good. What about you, Mario? How are you? Ah, uh, all good. All good. Are you tired now? Ah, uh, maybe not tired. Maybe it's kind of uh, boring. <laughs> not boring. Maybe it's uh, some sometimes the situation that. Is uh, the life situation, you know, okay. uh, problems from work, oh, issues, okay. family. That's maybe it's, it's not a physical tire, but maybe a mental yes. Uh, okay. You have three minutes, come on. Good evening. Is there anybody going to answer? <laughs> Someone said good evening. Uh, sorry. Yeah, good <laughs> evening, Wendy, sorry. Good evening, Wendy. How are you? I am fine, thanks. And you? Fine too. Good evening, Hello, everyone. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, it's nice to see you. I'm ready for the for the class today. I I have the opportunity to be on time. <laughs> The teacher yesterday, I was apologize <laughs> because uh, I I like to 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 be responsible uh, about the time and in other situations. But I am here now, and I'm glad to to see you. And I hope the the most participants uh, will be in the rest of the the time. <laughs> Thank you, teacher, uh, for the, uh, the links and the, the information. I think uh, it's uh, uh, very important uh, to for the for our learning and always uh, and also uh, I am honest. I I have not the the, the time for for today, but. I it's my commitment that yeah, uh, teacher is a is the correct form is my commitment for tomorrow. Uh, okay, good. Well, you made it today, so that, that's that's great. That's great. Remember, do what you have to do when you have to do it, whether you like it or not. Do what you have to do 
when you have to do it, whether you like it or not. Okay, that's discipline, that is discipline. Okay, yes. <clears throat> before we do the attendance, let's correct something here. Uh, the first word on your chat, you say tired. So again, tired. So your tongue goes to the back. Tired, tired, okay, tired. The R, the R sound in English is not R, right? There's no R in English, it's R, R, okay? Like that, your tongue goes back. Tired, man, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm physically, physically tired. We don't use an adjective, we use an, uh, an adverb. We use an adverb, physically tired and mentally tired, okay? Important, this is what I mentioned yesterday. It's not important, not so strong. Important mm -mm. is important, important mm -mm. here. Important, mountain, courtin. Mm -hmm. Certain, 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 important. That's not important. It's not important. It's important. Good. And the last one. I don't have time today. I don't, I don't, I don't. Don't say I don't, I don't. I don't mind. I don't mind. Um, I don't have something. I don't get it. Listen, I don't get it. Excuse me, teacher. I didn't understand. Nah. Excuse me, teacher. I, I don't get it. I just didn't get it. Okay. I don't get it. Um, I missed that. This teacher, I'm sorry. I missed that. Missed. Mm hmm. Simple past. I missed that. Okay. Can you say that again? Can you paraphrase what you just said? Okay. So, um, Diana is coming as well, Diana Elizabeth. Let me see, yeah, she's not here, Diana. Hi, teacher. Hello. Okay, let's do the attendance and then we move on. Today we're going to warm up with some exercises. Let's see, Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Present. Claudia Maria Melende Santos. Cristian Natalie Erazo Rogel. Okay. Diana Elizabeth Cherequino Martinez. Kind of, I got it, right? Cherequino. Okay, I think I got it. Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher. Oh, good. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. María Elena, María Elena, I thought I saw her. No, okay. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Present teacher. Good. Mario José Valle Castaneda. I'm here. Thank you. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Present. Excellent. Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Present, teacher. Okay. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Present, teacher. Good. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, don't forget to turn on your camera. That's very important, especially on the attendance. Okay. When we're doing the attendance, always turn on your camera. So, yeah, yesterday I, I was sharing with you a very simple way of improving um, your vocabulary. This is something that I, I just came up with uh, back in 2016, in 2016, I thought, 
You see, the, the problem is that your brain, your brain hates orders. I mean, you were born hating orders. So back in 2016, we used to tell the students, okay, for tomorrow, you have to learn 25 verbs, okay? So you have to start eat, it, 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 it. Okay, that's one. I need another five. Okay, cook, 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 cook. Oh my God. Do you think that's that's okay? Is that okay? Can you memorize? Can you memorize five verbs every day? Hello. Yes, okay. It's yes. yes. No. 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 Five, Why my five, my, verbs. five verbs? I mean, I mean, can you just go like okay, cook, play, okay, understand, see, I don't know, run. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, and just remember those five verbs every day. I mean, and next day another five. No, that's not the way your brain works. Your brain needs context, okay? Your brain needs context. So if I tell you, let's do something easy. Um, okay, so if you give context and your brain loves colors, your brain loves colors, so Okay, and this is an example on the on the on the PDF that I send you. Okay, uh, let's see. So you say work, that's the verb. Okay, put it in Spanish. Yes, put it in Spanish. It's okay. And then you say schedule, schedule. Uh, what's a schedule? Okay, horario. Okay, good. So now you have a verb and a word related, right? So then you start with positive, negative question. If you want to do open questions, it's okay as well. So you go like positive, negative, and question. Now, today is Monday. Let's say today is Monday, okay? Sure. Yeah. Can you repeat the correct way to say horario? Sure. Schedule. And that's something else you can do as well. You can go like on your, uh, oh, by the way, get a notebook just for your homework, okay? Get a notebook. Now, this is just something extra, guys, okay? It's not part of the program. It's my recommendation for you to get more vocabulary, okay? Saben que voy a pasar español super rápido para explicar eso rapidín. Eh, esto está fuera del programa, pero es una dieta que yo me inventé en el 2016 al entender que el cerebro no sigue órdenes, sino instrucciones. Eh, de pequeño te decían no, 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 y detestabas que te dijeran que no, ¿eh? aún así lo hacía. So, eh, a eso me refiero, no le puedes dar órdenes al cerebro de que se memorice la fuerza palabra por palabra, si no le das un contexto. ¿ya? Número dos, tu cerebro ama los colores inconscientemente, cuando ve un color lo absorbe más rápido que... Eh, las letras en negro, ya, eso es más aburrido para él, porque tu cerebro va más adelante que tú y, y no es mentira, me estás viendo a mí o estás viendo hacia adelante y ya absorbió la información con la vista periférica, me explico. So let's see, um, podrías incluso, eh, este es como el último recurso, ¿no? Ocupar tu propio lenguaje, eh, a ver, no hay una E, eso sí, cuidado. ¿Qué? Yo. Joel, Joel, esa O es suave, pero la L es más fuerte, schedule, schedule, a ver, let's see, schedule, bien, ¿cómo mato esto? En español no existe una palabra, y no me van a decir que es Sprite, por favor, no existe una palabra en español que empiece con S y siga con una consonante, ¿sí? bueno, no hay palabras en español creería yo que empiece, bueno, si sí, es de psicología pero no se menciona la P no existe eso, consonante, consonante en español, al inicio de una palabra es rarísimo pero la S nos mata a los latinos ¿cómo matas eso en solo? respira hondo 
y soltás el aire entre los dientes. Después de un par de repeticiones de esto, ya puedes empezar a repetir. Student, stop, stay, schedule, ¿Mm? study, and so on. Son tantas las palabras que empiezan con ese y consonante en inglés. Okay, so there you go. So moving on, we said you start, get a, get a notebook, eh, agarre un libro, eh, un cuaderno solo para eso. El lunes. Bueno, lo que más me cuesta a mí, dice Diego, lo que más me cuesta es el pasado simple. Se me olvidan los verbos en pasado simple. Bueno, vamos a ver, voy a practicar el lunes el pasado simple. Entonces, esto que voy a hacer ahorita, lo voy a hacer cinco veces todos los días. Ojo, cinco verbos con su palabra relacionada. No voy a repetir el mismo verbo y la misma palabra, eso no tiene sentido. ¿Sí? No, que verbo y palabra diferente. Verbo y palabra diferente. O sea, otro verbo, otra palabra, otro verbo, otra palabra. Vean el PDF que les envié. So, who can give me the sentence in positive? Simple past. Ver, the verb is simple past. No, sentence. No. Sentence in simple past. Positive. Let's go with positive first. I like yesterday's class. Hmm. Okay, but look at the verb and the word. <laughs> so, work, schedule. Let's do it uh -huh. together. Give me a subject. Uh, I. Oh, the, the, the sentence is may, may be in the, in the, the two verbs, work and schedule. Uh huh. That's right. Okay. In so, simple past. Yeah. What's the subject? Okay. okay. I I worked. Okay. I worked for two hours. Mm -hmm. On Sunday. Okay. We need to use the word. Okay, so I worked for two hours on Sunday's schedule. On Sunday's schedule. Okay, what would be the negative? Same sentence. Just okay. make it just make it negative. I didn't, I didn't work. work. Mm -hmm. I didn't work for two hours on Sunday schedule. You got it. Okay, what will be the close question? Did I? Excellent. I, yeah, question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then that's it. Positive, negative question. Teacher, can I do an open question? Yes, of course. Who can make an open question? WH question. Uh huh. Why when did you work? <laughs> Very good. Why did you work? Uh huh. For two hours on Sunday schedule. You got it. When? When did you work for yes. two hours? Yes. Be careful. When did you work for two hours? I cannot say on Sunday's schedule, right? That wouldn't make sense. Okay. How many hours did you work on Sunday's schedule? Who? Uh huh. Who? Who did you work? Continue, who Manuel. Did, yes, who, who did you work for, mm. for two hours? <laughs> okay, who? Okay, who, guys? Undefinite pronoun. Ojo, hay que estudiar eso. Pronombres indefinidos. Who? So I have two options. 
who worked for two hours on Sunday schedule. I want to know who, who worked for two hours on Sunday schedule. Okay, I can also say who, who worked for two hours on Sundays. Wait, who did you work? Who did you work for two hours on Sunday schedule with? Bien, y con esto cierro. Preposiciones al final de preguntas abiertas. Tomar nota, ¿eh? Preposiciones al final oh. de preguntas abiertas. Ah, oh, okay. okay. I cannot say, where did you go? Where did you go? Yes, it's very open. I should say, where did you go to? Where? Okay, where do you go to? What are you going to? Um, and there, there's a lot. There's a lot of uh, prepositions that you can use at the end. To, for, since, with, at the end of, of, before the question mark, you know. So prepositions at the end of WH questions. Prepositions at the end of questions or WH questions, okay? So going back to the point, moving al punto, super rápido. Positivo o negativo pregunta, le estoy dando contexto al cerebro. Y aquí me faltó, ¿eh? Aquí lo que teníamos que hacer era utilizar colores para resaltar los verbos que yo quiero que mi cerebro recuerde. Ok. Um, eso es lo, como lo más importante. ¿Por qué? Porque, de nuevo, mi cerebro va a absorber la información en bloques. ¿sí? Quiero que se memorice que el verbo va en pasado en la forma positiva, entonces voy a poner con un color muy molesto, se quiere decir así, para que mi cerebro, sin que yo me dé cuenta, se grabe esa información. Y esto va a ser algo sin esfuerzo. ¿Qué hago después? Ya hice una, ¿no? Esta es una prácticamente, esta es una. Si quiero, puedo llegar hasta acá, si no, puedo avanzar más y hacer hasta incluso um, Tag questions, tag questions, retóricas, ¿no? Preguntas retóricas. Y si no lo han visto, pues no se preocupen, ok. Pero el punto es, hacer esto todos los días, luego agarro otro verbo como travel, y luego, um, ¿qué sería con travel? Uh -huh. By plane, maybe, ok. Travel, I don't know. Germany, para practicar la palabra Germany, y así, ¿no? Entonces voy cambiando, cambio el sujeto, ca puedo ocupar nombres en lugar de sujetos, sí, y eso lo hago cinco veces, es decir, te voy a, al final del ejercicio voy a tener cinco verbos y cinco palabras diferentes, cada una con su positivo o negativo pregunta, por lo menos. Luego los repaso, los meto al traductor de Google y empiezo a repetir, repetir, repetir. Ya. Yeah. Y esto me va a asegurar. Ahora, volviendo con Pareto, la expectativa y, y, y lo que se ha comprobado es que de cinco verbos y cinco palabras se te van a quedar dos, dos verbos y dos palabras. ¿Ya? Y le vas a poder ocupar en contexto. Tu cerebro va a entender qué quiere decir en contexto. ¿Ok? So, this works. Esto de verdad funciona. Por experiencia. So, I'll send you this really quick. Questions. De nuevo, esto no es mandatorio, solo son sugerencias de cómo puedes mejorar, porque dos horas de clase no es nada. Yes. So, yeah. Heads up, heads up. There you go. Okay. So, that's just an example of how you can do it. Let's continue. So, we have to review yesterday's topic really quick. And to do that, we're going to do it in a very simple way. Let me share with you this screen. And, okay. Someone told me long ago, I wanna know. Can you see the, this screen? 
Can you see this screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's but see. you say yeah. ruleta, teacher. <laughs> will. Will. I will. Uh, yeah, this like is a, the, a will. Like the, the will of the car. Will. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here, I'm going to choose someone. Am I missing anybody? Uh, am I missing someone here? Is everybody there? Just uh, 13 participants. Participants, let's see. Participants, Norma. Norma is uh, missing. I guess there is uh, only one Mario, but I don't know. No, no, no. Yeah. Here it is Mario Jose and Mario. Oh, right? Uh huh. See, right now uh, I can see. Oh, Marilena. Marilena is back. Okay. I could, sorry, I added Marilena. Okay. Okay, let's see. Hmm. There's no sound on this. Anyways, can you see the screen? Not yet. No, no. Okay. No, yeah. Let me do it again. I'll do it again. Don't worry. Maybe Black can... screen. Yeah, the screen wouldn't like right. It should work. Okay, I'll just go ahead and share the screen like that and keep jumping. Okay, better? Yes. 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 I don't know why there's no sound, but anyways. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyways, let's do it. Oh, look at that, Marilena. Okay. Okay, Marilena. First example. I need your help. Okay, this is the, the game, guys. It's very simple. Everybody else, try to do it on yourselves. Marilena, look at the screen. Can you use not only but also not only but also that's the point okay marilena whenever you're ready your first example is there are problems with the children, period. There are problems with their parents. Using not only, but also, what would be the right sentence? Mm, maybe not only there are problems with the children, but also there are problems with the parents. Don Francisco, ¿qué dice el público? Okay, not only there are problems with the children, but also... Uh -oh, be careful. There's no S here. Uh -uh. There's no problem with the children, but also... Like that, right? There are, yes, there are problems with their parents. What do you think, guys? Is this right? Yes. Can you do better, Diana? Um, I don't know if it is. There are not only problems with the children, but also there are problems with the parents. Hmm. Mm, no. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds too complicated. When you start neglecting, oh, when you start neglecting, on the first sentence, that that sounds like more complicated. Okay, uh-huh. Let me give you a clue. Um, it sounds redundant. There is something that sounds redundant on the sentence like this. So what sounds redundant on this sentence? 
Uh, maybe yeah. not only there are problems there with are problems. children, but also with their parents. Mm -hmm. Excellent. But also with their parents. So mind this. Mind this. <clears throat> Try not to sound um, redundant, okay? Um, and how do you avoid redundancy? Um, if you are talking about the same topic, don't repeat it. That's it. Just don't repeat the same topic twice. Not only there are problems with children, children. Children is the plural of? Child. Child, okay. Let's talk about irregular plurals really quick. Everybody, how do you pluralize the word dear? Plural, dear. Dears. Dears? <clears throat> no. Oh, okay. How do you pluralize dear? Let, let me test the ring. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Dear? Dear. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. What about the word mouse? Mice. Excellent. Good job. How do you pluralize the word person? People. Excellent. This was it. That was easy. Okay. What about men? Men. Hmm. Man. <laughs> yes. Men. Man with me. Uh huh, with an E. That's right. The same happens with woman. Women. 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 Got Women. it. Very good. Women. Wait. What was it? Woman. Uh -huh. Women. Women. It's just the E. Okay. What about fish? What's the plural for fish? It is fish also? Yes, yes, it is fish also. The same thing happened with ship, ship, okay? Uh, I believe moose too is there, moose. Wait, it's not moose, it's moose. What about uh, geese? That's the plural. It's goose, yeah. <laughs> goose geese, sorry. <laughs> like that, right? I mean, it's so there are so many words which are irregular plurals. And just Google it. Google it. Okay, uh, I'll send you another link. Wow, uh, any any questions so far so good? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move on. I'm, I'm going to select someone else so we can move on. Hold on. No. Hello, I'm still here. Oh my God, I'm on a diet. Stop, stop talking about. Oh my God, I'm on. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's see who's next. Let's go with exercise number two. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Norma. Good. Norma, exercise number two. Ready? Yes. Okay, whenever you're ready. He can make people laugh. He can make people cry. Only he can make people laugh, but also he can make people cry. 
Again. I so, mm -hmm. the only thing that I had about this. So not only she can make people cry. Okay, but also. But also he can make people cry. Hmm. Okay, what do you think, guys? I, I think, teacher, it is the, the same um, the previous uh, sentence. For example, I don't know. For example, uh, the first uh, clause, not only she can make people uh, laugh, mm -hmm. but also people cry. Hmm. Okay, like that. What do you think, guys? Not only no. people, he can make teacher, people I, cry, but I also say, make people cry. People laughed. <laughs> but also, not, ah. only, uh -huh. not only he can make people laugh. Oh, I made a mistake. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Thank you. Not only he can make people laugh, but also... But also make people cry. Don't you think that sounds too long or still redundant? So what, is, what about this? Not only he can make people laugh, but yes. also cry. Yes, yes, yes. You're right, teacher. Mm -hmm. But also cry. Short. Okay, remember, try not to repeat words from this side. Okay? Try not to repeat words. That's all. If, if it is related, if it's the same thing, don't repeat it. Just bear that. Okay, let's go with the next person. Okay, I'll move on a little bit faster. Nelson. Okay, Nelson. Next sentence. So easy. Also, whenever you're ready. Not only she writes plays for television, but also acts in movies. Mm -hmm. But also acts in movies. Not only she writes plays for television, but also acts in movies. Remember, depending on the connector, the conjunction that you are using, you will continue respecting the grammar rules. Okay, Nelson, challenge. Mm -hmm. Challenge, can you move this to the past? Not only she wrote plays for television, but also acted in movies. You got it. The same thing. Thank you, Nelson. Yeah. Not only she wrote plays, not only she wrote plays for television, but also acted in movies. Excellent. And that's the point, guys. You respect the grammar tense depending on the conjunction, the connector that you're using. Okay, just one more and I will split the class so you can practice by yourself. We are missing uh, six more examples that you will do together. Let's see. Oh, 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 Manuel. Hey, Manuel, are you there? Yes. Okay, let's go with number four. I send him many letters. I also try to try to try to try to telephone him. I also try to telephone him. Interesting. 
Mm-hmm. I not only yeah. send him many letters, but also I try to. <laughs> okay, is is that who was it? I uh, forgot. Mario. Mario, right? Okay, yeah. So not only I send him many letters. But also, mm -hmm. I tried to telephone him. Hmm. Okay. What do you think, guys? Yes, teacher, oh. it's correct. Marilena, girls, what's going on? Why are the girls so quiet on this group? Silvia, Susana, uh, Susana, I think is working, and Wendy. Is this all right? Not only I sent him many letters, but also. The very fast. What? The bear oh. is in fast. So it should be trying like that. Okay. What do you think, guys? Is this right? Silvia? Try it. Try it, right? Yeah, that should be in past. Okay, again, don't repeat things. Okay, the doer, the doer is still I. You still have the same subject. The doer is I. Not only I send him many letters, but also try to telephone him. But also try to telephone him. Repeat, try to, try to, try to, try to, try to, try to, try to. Not only I send him many letters, but also, but also try to telephone him. It's so easy to include the verb, I mean, the subject there. Not only I send him many letters, but also try to telephone him. Okay, so I'll send you right now the other six examples that I have. So you can do them on small groups. We are 13, so we will do trios, okay? We will have three people on each group. So please, please join your group. Don't stay here. Let's see, yeah. Let's make four groups. Um, todos ya han usado esta herramienta, ¿verdad? Ya se han unido en pequeños grupos, okay, so good. If you need me, just in bulk me. <laughs> I'll send this here first and then on WhatsApp. Okay, let's go. Pueden compartir su pantalla en grupo si, si gustan. We write, we, we write the example. Oh. Hey, teacher, we have to, to write five, five examples. We have to create. Ah. Create. No. In the chat. Sorry, sorry. It's the same exercise here. You have it here in the chat in Zoom, and it's on WhatsApp too. Ah, okay. Okay. Ah, yeah. In WhatsApp. Sharing WhatsApp or. Uh, the the examples are in the chat. Okay. Ah. Mm -hmm. We had to. In chat. In in Zoom or in WhatsApp? Both. Both. 
Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, okay. We had to add uh, not only, but also. No, the example are here because I don't see it. nothing. Mm. Uh, and you, Diego, do you, do you see the example? Yeah. Okay. In what tab? Yes. yes. You, you can uh, see uh, then okay. in WhatsApp. In, in WhatsApp. Okay. The first. Uh... Oh. We visit, visit our grandfather. Uh, yes, I think that the, the, the example five is not only we visit our grandfather's house in summer, but also, but also um, we visit it. Um, but also in winter. Mm -hmm. But also? In winter. Only in winter. Yes. Yes, okay. because the other words are repeated in the beginning uh, of the sentence. No. Not only. Not only we visited our grandfather's house in summer, uh, but. But also. But also in winter. In winter, yes. Okay. Not only. The next. Not only. In this form. Uh, only is con Y. <laughs> yeah. We visit our grandfather's house. In summer, double M. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but also in winter. Yes, I think uh, in it is not necessary just uh, winter. Because repeat, teacher. Fathers. Uh, as, as told, as told. Uh, ah, yes. In a few moments, mm -hmm. uh, in in it repeat, but uh, I think the correct uh, using but also is, uh, for example, not only we visit our grandfather's house in summer, but also in we uh, here you need the preposition. Ah, okay. In in, in winter. In yeah. winter. Ah, okay. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I correct. In this or, form. In winter. Okay. Yes, you can see. Uh, yes. Number six. Not also she can dance. Not only she can dance. Uh, but also, but also sing. Sing. In this, I don't know. Reading is a correct. Teacher, in this in this uh, sentence is it's okay uh, just but also sing. Okay, thank you. Number seven. Uh, That's right. Not only she can dance but also sing. Okay, they need food. Uh, not also they need food. Not only they need food. But also medicine.
Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? Good. Are you done? No, yet. Okay. Okay. Remember, you still you you have to like share right your answers. Yeah. Okay. Hello. We are done. <laughs> you know what? I I thought so. I thought <laughs> so. I mean, this this group is good as well. So yeah. Give me allow me just a few minutes, okay? While I. Okay. While the others finish, okay. Hasn't done any work. But also. Hasn't done any work. Don't any hasn't, work. Hasn't done any work. Uh, don't don't write he. Mm. No. No. Hasn't, oh, because it's redundant. Oh. Has done has done any work. Okay. Okay. Uh, the next is. Not only she was, was upset, upset, but also was angry. But also angry. Oh, but also, but also angry. So okay. upset and angry are feelings, right? So what? this is uh, upset and angry are feelings. Feelings, happy. In love, sad, right? So these are feelings. So you you can just feelings. ah. Mm -hmm. You can. You don't need to repeat the the verb to be. Oh, okay. she she was was upset, but no. Not only not only she was upset, but all. But also angry. But also angry. But also angry. Okay. Not only in winter, in winter, the days are short. The days are short. Are short. But also, but also. Uh, but also cold and dark. Are cold o and dark. Also, also cold and dark. I no. think. But and... also cold and dark. Mm. I think so. In, in winter, in the, the days okay. are short, but all no, not only in winter, the days are short, but also cold and dark. Cold and dark only, only the word cold and dark. I think so. <laughs> okay. Other classmates say, and the teacher correct. <laughs> say correct. Okay, so you're done, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go back. Yes. Yeah. Chan, 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 chan. Let's see who comes back late. Who's the last one returning to the group? Chan, 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 chan. Hmm. Okay. 
Manuel, Marie, and Silvia are still working. Norma hasn't come back. Both Marios are still talking, I guess. Nine, seven, six, five, four. <laughs> okay, Maria Elena and Norma were the last ones coming back. So let's start with Maria Elena and then we go with Norma. Okay, let's see. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Okay. So give me the answer uh, for exercise number five, Marilena. Hi. Excuse me. What will be the answer for number five? For number five, we say in the winter, the days not only are short, but also they are cold and dark. That sounds, uh, well, you don't need the verb to be, right? But also cold and dark, but also yeah. cold and dark. Cold and dark. What about the exercise? You didn't rewrite it? correct the exercise okay somebody did somebody uh do the exercise this way yes okay how is it the number five mm -hmm. uh, not only we visit our grandfather's oh. house in summer but also in winter mm -hmm. But also in winter. Now, this preposition, you need it. You need it because you're talking about seasons and there you need the preposition. Okay. In winter, in summer, in autumn, etc. Very good. Not only we visit our grandfa grandfather's house in summer, but also in winter. Okay. What's the grammar tense? Is this future, past, present perfect? What is it? Somebody, what, what grammar tense is that? Teacher, I think in simple present. Yep, you got it. That simple present. Okay, continue. What's number six? Give me the answer. Not only chicken dance, but also mm -hmm. sing but also sing. Okay. Not only she can dance, but also sing. Now let's review something really quick. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Just right before, but also we need a comma. Okay, not only she can dance, comma, but also sing, but also sing. Not sure. only she can dance, but also sure. sing. In this case, uh, I, I, I see uh, in the main verb, uh, in the, the last verb, sing, it is not necessary the, to add the, the S. Hey, repeat, is it not? It is not. Is it not necessary to add the S? No, it's not necessary because we're using a model. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I think it's the continue for the. Is the continuation? Okay. Uh, the second part, I think, is continuation. Mm -hmm. That's right. That okay. is correct. So, yes, this verb is still being affected by okay. the model. Okay. As we said before, it will be affected by the grammar tense here. Uh, okay. Totally. totally, you got it. Okay, number seven, they need food, they need medicine.
Anybody? Not only they need food, but also medicine. Mm -hmm. As simple as that. Okay, and again, we need the comma before the but. So not only they need food, but also medicine. But also, but also. Okay, that was simple. Number eight. Okay, he has been late four times. He hasn't done any work. Wow. Not only he has been late four times, comma, but also hasn't done any work. Mm -hmm. You got it. Okay, now here is a clear example of when things change. Why is it different? Why did we add more information on this side? Because we are talking about the verb to be, yes. to be late. And here we're talking about doing something or, well, in this case, not doing something. It's two different things, right? Is that clear? Yes, there yes. are two different verbs. Todos estamos claros en lo que acabamos de decir. ¿Alguien se quedó? It's clear, teacher. Okay. Que hable ahora, okay, para siempre. Okay, no, it's all good. Okay, all good. So, next, she was upset, she was angry. Not only she was she has upset, but also but also angry. Okay. There you go. So we're talking about feelings. Okay, simple. And the last one. In winter, the days are short. Oh well, that's what Marilena said, right? Yeah, Marilena already gave us the answer on this one. Do you remember what's the answer? Teacher. Yes. Uh, I think not in only. winter, the days not only are short, but also cold and dark. Can I do something else in this sentence, guys? Could you do it differently? Okay, can you do it differently? I write it. I write something different, but I don't know if it's right. Repeat, I wrote. I wrote. Uh-huh, what is it, Diana? Not only the days are, sh are short in winter, but also cold and dark. Totally. And that's what I was expecting. Thank you very much. Not only the days are short in winter, but also cold and dark yeah sometimes it makes more sense y lo voy a decir rápido esto tiene más sentido a veces agregar el sujeto no yes it or they in ese caso not only they are short in winter but also cold and dark you got it okay questions all good uh... It's all good. Mm -hmm. Get ready for this. Uh huh. It's all good. All good. Good. So, I hear somebody trying to say I have a question, but I don't let them talk. No, no questions. Okay. Let's go with the second part that says both and both and both and. Okay. Let's see. Uh, ta, 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 ta. Diego Armando, would you? Okay. Use both and to emphasize the link between two ideas. 
to emphasize the link between two ideas. For example, A, both feedback and mentorship are important elements of professional development. You got it, very good. Both, both feedback and mentorship are important elements of professional development. So here is like adding two ideas, linking two ideas. This is easier. This is much easier. Silvia? Hi, teacher. Would you? Would you read, please? Yes. Um, B. Both, in, both new and experienced employees can join the training. Exactly. Both new and experienced experienced employees can join the training. Okay. Can you make more examples? Okay. Give me more examples, both and. Of any topic? Again? Of any topic? No, 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 both and I, both and. No, yes, but not related with work. Oh yeah, not related okay. with work. I mean, it's up to you. Yeah, just try both, to use, use the grammar. Mm -hmm. Both cats and dogs are good company. Excellent, okay, both cats and dogs are a good company. Both, both. 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 Okay. Let's do something. I'll send you a link to your WhatsApp right now. Voy a decir en español porque no quiero que comentamos un error. So, les voy a enviar un link al WhatsApp ahorita. Vean ese link y les voy a explicar qué vamos a hacer. Rapidín. Unos cinco minutos de lo mucho o menos, vas a accesar ese link y vas a poner, bueno, para empezar, necesito que selecciones, si te fijas, es como un buscador el que aparece arriba. Entonces, ahí abajito está All, US, UK, and Aus. Estos son los acentos, entonces vamos a elegir US, of course, United States which is what we're learning. We're learning English from the United States. So, vamos a poner nada más la palabra both. Nunca lo he hecho, la verdad, with this word. ¿Qué es esto? Esto es un buscador. <ríe> Pónganle pausa. Este es un buscador como YouTube, prácticamente. Ojo, solo sirve con una palabra a la vez. Si quieres ver, practicar la pronunciación de algo, mete solo esa palabra. Quiero que te fijes en los controles abajo del video. Hay diferentes flechas para avanzar. Vas a ver mucho a Obama, a personas, celebridades. Vas a ver muchas uh, conferencias de TED Talk. Lo que me gusta es que abajo aparecen las letritas y te va señalando a medida que se van moviendo. Ahora, tú puedes moverte hacia el siguiente video si, si sentís que muy rápido lo pronunciaron. Y el punto de esto es... Mirale la boca al que está hablando, si sale la boca de cerca, muy, mucho que mejor. Y uh, para, para la oreja, ¿ok? So, vamos a hacer, ese, hacer este ejercicio solamente tres minutos. Quiero que pongas la palabra both. Y luego voy a empezar a señalar a cada uno de ustedes, a preguntarles que me repitan la palabra both o both. ¿Cómo es? So, one, two, three, go. Sure. Can you help me please in the in 
WhatsApp group. Sorry, Mario, if I can add you to the WhatsApp group. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. Hold on. Aquí en el chat de Zoom está el link de invitación para el chat de WhatsApp. Mario. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, let's see if you made it. <laughs> let's see if you nail it. <laughs> let's see if you nail it. Uh, teacher, I guess. Yeah, I Mario. heard some of them said both, but I heard some of Black people that sometimes doesn't say like both. They they say like a shortest. They but. don't say both. They say yeah. But it sounds kind of different between them. I I will say try Obama style. I like the the way Obama speaks uh, because he's very proper. Is muy apropiado. He's very proper to speak, very professional when he talks. I don't know, but you tell me. Let's see. What did you get? How did you get it? Manuel Antonio, repeat both. Both. I'll just say your name. Solo voy a su nombre. Ustedes le dicen la palabra. One, two, three. Manuel. Both. Nelson. Both. Diego? Both. Okay. Wendy? Both. Good. Jorge? Both. Okay. Now, the whole key, let's see, Carlos? Both. <laughs> okay. The whole key is to do this. Both. 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 See? Both. Saque la muerda la y sople la, la puntita de la lengua. Así, este ejercicio, cuando andes caminando solo, sin que nadie te vea, mordete la punta de la lengua, sacala, mordela un poquito, no mucho, eh. y con la boca cerrada, cuando nadie te esté viendo, sopla. Son ejercicios, ¿eh? ¿Querés uno más? Agarra un dulce, inclinas tu cuerpo, aquí estás tú, ok. Agarras un dulce, ponételo en la boca y luego inclinas tu cuerpo a la mitad, con las manos atrás y el ejercicio es hacer esto con la lengua o sea, que la lengua que el dulce quede en medio de la lengua contigo agachado sin que se te caiga por unos 10 segundos why? ok, try to say bow bow ok Let's try to say car 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 it's not car car you see Esa, la l está en muchas palabras so car en la r okay makes sense 
O sea, así puedes practicar, porque todo eso son músculos. La lengua es un músculo, so exercise it. Ok, let's move on. Let's continue. So both in. Both in. Now, did you get the idea? There is an exercise on page. Oh, wait, hold on. We have to talk about a topic. Today's topic is continuing professional development. Let's go to page one of your book. We're gonna go with topic and then we move on with the grammar. So page one on your book. And in this lesson, Tiana, I will be able to describe benefits of promoting professional development in a company. Perfect. Hey, beautiful accent, Diana. Great job. Good job. Okay, so describe benefits of promoting professional development in a company. What do you understand that by that promoting professional development? Anybody? Uh, teacher, uh... I think is uh, when the companies mm -hmm. have in in his in their their, their uh, process, you no, know, for uh, for employees. Uh, Searching, searching uh, that uh, the the people improve their their skills. Hey, good. Mm -hmm. And also, for example, I don't know uh, the uh, got um. The work or benefits, uh, for sure, to for the company. Mm -hmm. uh, when people work with, uh, with uh, the the equipment, the the necessary equipment or uh, knowledge. I think uh, work better. <laughs> they work better. Good job. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else, one more opinion. What is promoting professional development? Uh, I consider teacher is when the the when the company recognize the effort of the employees and want to 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 uh, give some benefits for that employees. For their employees, for those, for, yes, for those employees. Okay. That's what you think. Okay, I, and you're totally right. Now, promoting professional development, just the way it sounds is like making sure that the war is spread. Okay, making sure that the word spread, that everybody hears, spread the word. So I go with Marilena. Hey, Marilena, did you know that you can be trained um, here in the company to be a supervisor? <gasps> no, really? Yeah, yeah, you could be trained. I would like to be a supervisor. Yeah, I know. So did you go to the university? Yeah, I went to the university. Well, why don't you get a training, you know, to become more professional? I don't know. Or get a career, a second career, for example. Now, talking about professional development, let me give you an example. The call center where I work, they encourage they encourage 
their employees to to take more studies, you know, to study more, to study a master degree, to take a master degree uh, on any career you want. It doesn't have to be related to the call center. It could be, let's say, a master in administration, a master on science, I don't know, but it's up to you. They give you a scholarship, you know, some percentage of scholarship because, and that's good. Hey. Sorry. Uh, when you're at, uh, about your idea or your comment, I think uh, when the, the companies uh, have no, not, oh, right, not only uh, they encourage, but also it is necessary support the, the cost for, <laughs> for a master. You got it. Good, good job. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah, that, that's certainly true, Manuel. So yeah, not only they encourage their employees, but also support them support. financially, financially. Okay, super rápido, les quiero mencionar si alguno se ha perdido con la pronunciación, que a más de alguno le he escuchado decir, por ejemplo, un ejemplo acá, uh, promote, promoting, promoting, that's wrong, promoting. professional, development, development. Development. Entonces, cuando tú escuchas una palabra por primera vez, ¿qué haces? Yo les recomiendo hacer eso, poner un triangulito arriba de la palabra, escribirla y ponerle el triangulito. ¿Qué significa este triangulito? ¿Alguien me lo dice, Rapín? The accent. No hay acento en inglés. There's no accent in English. There's no tilde, right? The stress. There's stress of syllable. That's right. Hay un una sílaba estresada. So promoting professional development. Okay? Even company. What about encourage? Where is the stress in scourge? Encourage. 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 Here, right? Encourage. encourage. The second syllable. Second syllable. Okay? You got it. So let's break the eyes. Do you usually reflect on ways you could do your job better? Do you usually stop and think, man, if I do this, I could do my job better, right? Hmm. Do you usually do that? Yes. Yeah? Yes, sometimes. sometimes. Okay. <laughs> now, have you ever suggested management to implement a training program to improve your and your colleagues, colleagues, colleagues performance, your colleagues performance. Have you gotten a positive response? So we're going on groups and we're going to discuss these topics. Okay. It's not difficult. Let me give you an example. So do you usually reflect on ways you could do your job better? I must, because in my case, um, I have, I work with prepaid cards, okay? Uh, I work with debit cards, let's say, that you can buy anywhere in the United States, you can buy prepaid cards. So I work for a fraud department, okay? Fraud, we verified, I'm sorry, we verify that the transactions are not fraudulent, and etc. But the point is that I work on goals. I have to do seven cases per hour, you know, for every hour, seven cases. So what do I do? Well, I have a spreadsheet and I'm taking, I, I do my count, you know, I, I, I keep my record, my personal record to make sure that I'm flying. Sometimes I have to rush. I have to rush sometimes. Okay. Have you ever suggested management to implement the training? Yes. Yes, I have suggested management to, um, to implement the training to improve mine and my colleagues' performance. Have you gotten a positive response? You know what? No. They didn't want to do it because when I was uh, a supervisor of a production line, 
I was a supervisor of a production line in 2002. And, and I used to take times, you know, with a stopwatch. Everybody, do you know what is a stopwatch? Chronometer. There you go. So I go with, with the uh, operator. I used to go with the operator. Okay, one, two, three, go. Okay, that's it. I used to take the time of each operation and then determine on a formula, you know, how many, I mean, determine their goals, set their goals. I used to set their goals. So I, I suggested that to management and they didn't like it. They said, nah, it's okay the way it is. And I'm like, okay. Okay. How do you feel about that when you give a suggestion, right? So let's just have a conversation with this topic. Do you have any questions? Teacher, the topic is uh, describe benefits. What are the benefits? Yes, of promoting professional development in a company. Now, to start, let's work on these two questions, okay? Well, three. Oh, okay. These three questions. Okay, okay. Any other question? No. No. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'll send you this to your WhatsApp right now. Let's move it. Acuérdense, la meta ahorita es, bueno, eh, si se fijaron, yo estoy tratando de hacerlos hablar para capturar la oportunidad. Si ven que llevo a su grupo y no, no participo, es porque el punto es que ustedes hablen, yo solo escucho y voy viendo qué áreas podemos atacar. La metodología que vamos a ocupar es bien sencilla. La primera hora de clase prácticamente es práctica, 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 atacando áreas de oportunidad. Por eso no se extrañen si, por ejemplo, mañana empezamos con, hey, Diana, what did you do yesterday? Y te voy a dar un minuto. Ok. Contestando esa pregunta. ¿Ya? Entonces, o okay, que el siguiente día hablemos del presente perfecto y agarre a Jorge. Hey, Jorge, have you ever traveled out of the country? Right? Yeah. Yes, ¿Les parece? Yeah. Is that okay? Yes, yes. Okay. Good. So, got the idea. Please make mistakes. Don't be afraid of making mistakes, okay? That's very important for me. <laughs> Let's go. The first, okay. the first question is do you usually reflect on ways do you, you usually play? reflect on oh, oh, ways you job better you could do you job better you could do you better usually reflect on ways you could do you job better mm -hmm. Maybe a manager. Um. <laughs> Have you ever? In my case, I I usually I by myself to do the the things easier. <laughs> Uh, because normally when I'm doing some things, I try to, because I, I, I always say that it's better work smarter than harder. So I usually do some things to try to speed up the job or to avoid 
missing some things. So, and I don't, I don't suggest. I, I normally try to teach partner how I do the thing in order to they decide if they think that it's better, it's good for them. If not, I, I let them to do their things like the way they have learned. Well, yes, just in this moment, okay, okay, okay. in my job, I, I have this situation because I need a, a assistant. And I have many work and, and I have the opportunity to to learn and to share my knowledge with an internship in the company. But now um, I made the report to have the opportunity to to this to this girl to because I need really I need a help because it's many work for me. I need a, a partner. Wow, all right. Uh, do you need help with uh, with your with the 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 work? Yeah, can uh, you help okay. me, <laughs> please? Okay. Uh, did you did you reflect reflect? Uh, how do how do improve or how do? Uh, Yes, to 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 improve to 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 make the the work uh, for sure uh, to reduce the, the time. Yeah. The, because the the the, the question uh, is 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 uh, like like your your I don't know. Uh, I saw problem, a little problem with your a great problem. Yes, I imagine. Yes, I guess. I can hear the, the last part. Could you please uh, repeat? Can it, you help me in my job? <laughs> please. Huh? Why? Please. <laughs> He I gave you some advice. Huh? Some, some, some advice uh, for your for your boss or your oh. in charge. Okay, but uh, about the topic, uh, actually, uh, some time ago, we suggested to to the boss that uh, give some benefits like. Uh, a training in contract administration, contract administration, and they pay the the course or the the model. One model, I I believe was it was about uh, the FIDIC contract. That is a, a a model of of business contracts. Y, o sea, mi excusa fue distraída. Uh -huh. So you can explain to me. <laughs> okay. And what do you think about that? If you want to improve your development, your job? Yeah. Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were asking me. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Dennis. <laughs> But if you want to answer, Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, we want to hear you. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Come on, keep going. Okay. Um, I don't know. Um, I work on that. But <laughs> uh, at my work, 
they do a lot of things to to help to the to the employees to get a better position and to improve their skills um, like different uh, trainings and like programs where you can um, try to grow in the company. Um, but for that, you need the help, like the supervisors, uh, different areas, and also to, to do a better, well, no, to do a, a good job at the company so you can mm -hmm. have that benefit. Okay. Um, in my case, about the the second questions, um, sometimes I suggest to my my boss, uh, to get some training for the new people because they need an induction, uh, for the job and the position. So we don't have this induction. And uh, the other co-workers and in, in, in I uh, need to to train to mm -hmm. train uh, them. So for me is um is a loose time. I don't know how do you, how how can I say perdida tiempo loose time. It's the way waste of time. Waste of time. Yes. Um. So I I I suggest that, but. But um, uh, it's not it's not possible. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think in that scenario, it's because it is a cost for the company, and they don't want to pay. <laughs> Yes, but for me it's necessary because the new people need to to do a a good job. Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't know what <laughs> suggestions. I don't make suggestions for my boss. She doesn't like. It. <laughs> okay. And with my colleagues, mm -hmm. with them, I I make some suggestions sometimes to improve like some some work we do. Um, also with the how do you say trato? How deal deal? Uh, yes, how to deal with the with the clients that we have. Okay. And jump it up, the, the song steps. Okay. We, we, we have finished teacher, just in this moment. <laughs> Okay. Good then. Let's go back. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, so let's get some answers. Um, and let's see who comes back last. 
Okay, let's start talking, oh, well, three seconds, two seconds, one second, and here they come. Okay, guys, please always, whenever I call you back, just come back really quick. The last person coming back to the main room comes to the front, okay? Okay, <laughs> it's something that I like to do. So, uh, let's see. I wanna hear your, your opinion, uh, but first, First, let's correct something. <sighs> something that I wrote here. I was taking notes while I was listening to you. Si creen que algo está mal escrito, no, es a propósito. Eh? So I'll, I'll go from top to bottom. And you say, question, question. Question. Shin. Quiero que cuando no veas una T I O N, te acordes de te acordes de decir shin, shin, no shong, ¿ok? Ni ni chong, chong. Question, no. Please. Question, question. I got a question. Let me ask you something, ¿ok? I got a question for you. I got a question for you. ¿ok? I have many work. Mm. Uncountables. I have much work to do. Man, I have much work to do. Pron pronunciation. No ledge. No ledge. No ledge. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can't hear the last part. I couldn't. What is the past of can? What is the past of the verb can? Cool. cool. Good. So, cool. sorry, I couldn't cool. hear. Listen, sorry, I couldn't hear you. Sorry, couldn't hear you. Ni siquiera digo I. Ni siquiera digo I. Sino que... Sorry, couldn't hear you. Couldn't, couldn't hear you. Man, sorry, couldn't hear you. Can you repeat that? Okay. I couldn't hear you. We suggested to the boss. Mm -mm. We suggested the boss. Man, we suggested the boss to come up with a new... Um, Training. It sounded really hard. Sorry. So, hmm. that is. Be careful with this. Don't say that. That is. That is. Si usted quiere pasar como gringo en los Estados Unidos o con algún otro americano, por favor, sigue estos consejos. Okay. That is. No. That is. That is. Man, that is true. Oh, contractor teacher is. Excellent. Matter. Excellent, Emmanuel. Yes. Hey, that's it. That's it. true. That's true. Okay. Try to contract, and that's true. As much as you can. Ojo, contractuar en el hablado. Cuando se habla contractuar es bueno, pero en escritura profesional no. En especial en un email no ocupes contracciones. Okay. Let's see. Next. Answer. Answer. Mm -mm. Answer. 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 Cabal. Ahí está, Jorge. No me complico la vida. Answer. 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 Answer me. Teacher, pero yo oído que en las películas dicen answer. Answer. Because it's answer. 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 Es una aswa, pero todavía no. O sea, la práctica poco a poco te va a llevar ahí. ¿Sí? So, por ahora, se me caso. Decir answer. Answer. Answer me. <laughs> okay, answer, answer. To help to the employees. Again, you don't need that preposition. To help the employees. To help employees. The employees. Repito, si lo que va después del verbo es otro verbo, entonces lo separas con la preposición to. Si es un nombre o X cosa. For example, how do you say, Cristia? A mí me gustan las pupusas. I like pupusas. Exactly. Thank you. Uh, you say I like pupusas. So how, how do you say, uh, Crisia? A mí me gusta comer pupusas. I like to eat pupusas. You see, I like pupusas. I like to eat. Just think about it. Okay. On, in that sense. So the employees are just a noun. So to help employees, you can have that benefits. You can have those benefits. You can have that benefit singular. You can have that benefit. 
in the last word induction 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 there you go induction sorry yeah induction and the induction process on that company is really hard you see okay so really quick who wants to share their opinion you know about this topic have you ever had any idea on how to improve your job and to tell the manager hey you know what i have a great idea Así como los memes de TikTok. Teacher. Uh -huh. eh, about the, the topic and the questions in my, eh, in my job. Uh -huh. eh, any, eh, any, may I, eh, can I say, oh, the question is, how do you say, cualquier persona? Anybody. Okay, anybody. Mm -hmm. All right. Anybody can say is a, a, a body, a, a body job, or a, for the the work, the, the same the same things every day. Uh, in my case, in my job, but uh, I always uh, suggest uh, my suggest my my boss how to improve or or how to help other areas for improve in general uh, some some process for example uh, in the in my area uh, we 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 deliver uh, some bills uh, and also we, uh, how do you say, um, cobrar? Charge. All oh, right, uh, charge. Or uh, actually in this case is in your context, it will be collect. Uh, collect. We right. collect. Collect, uh -huh. uh, collect uh, information uh, or uh, cash, uh, money. And I, I always, uh, talk with my boss about uh, improve uh, because I liked uh, I liked uh, I lo que yo hago I, I, I like, like what, what I do what I do yes which is very important if you don't like what you do mm change your job okay it's the worst part <laughs> <laughs> i know that's not a job it's a prison okay yeah. okay somebody else thank you thank you manuel give me an example i mean have you ever been in this situation when you try to improve your processes to improve your the way you do your job do you think that messi or cristiano go to, with the technician and go like hey you know what I could do this better if I do this. I consider yes, they they can do that. They must. <laughs> they must. Yes. Yes. But uh, in my case, teacher, uh, I work with a like a administration contract or, or contract administration. So with that context, uh, we, in, in, in our team, we suggested to, to the boss that we uh, need uh, to uh, be- We suggested? The boss, the boss. Uh -huh. to, to be training in that, in that, uh, in that topic, because uh, is that we, we do in the, in the work. And there are, 
new uh, new information, new international information that we need to to know and could be possible to implement in 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 here or here in El Salvador. Uh, and they accept the or accepted the the suggestion and they pay for the for the course. Mm -hmm. uh, that was uh, in December the 2022. And um, but uh, we we want to to go to Spain where the the course was uh, was was uh, how do you say uh, located? Exactly, but, but was on, online only. It was a virtual course. Okay, excellent, Jorge. Okay, let's see some things. Repeat, Jorge. Suggestion. Suggestion. Uh huh. In this case, don't look at the T. No mires a la T. Suggestion. Suggestion. Hey, I got a suggestion for you. Suggestion. 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 Yeah, I got a suggestion for you. Thank you. Okay, next. Course. Course. Uh, course. Course. There you go. Of course. Of course. Abre un poco más la boca, Jorge. Hay una O. Course. Of course. Of course. Es una O. Course. 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 Ahí. Course. Course. Repeat. Jorge, of course. Of course, with it. No, again, lo hiciste de Of course. Of course. Es una O, of course. Of course. Ahí está. Of course. Si dices curse, es maldición, que es lo que está abajo. Curse. Okay, I curse you. Okay, now. Of course. Of course. Okay, curse. Then we have, listen to this, Jorge. We wanted to go. And we wanted to go to Brazil. We wanted to go to Brazil. We wanted to go to Brazil. Es más, mantener la boca todos así. Ooh, we wanted to go to Brazil. We right? wanted to go. We wanted to go. We wanted to go to Brazil. We wanted to go to Brazil. We okay. To go. Okay. Let's practice really quick. Just me durmieron. So let's practice really quick. Tell me where did you want to go tell me where did you want to go for example i wanted to go to canada last year carlos i want i wanted to go to the united states close i wanted to go to the united states i wanted to go to the united states diana elizabeth i wanted to go to italy I close. I wanted to go to Italy. I wanted to go to Italy. Crisia. I wanted to go to Egypt. Close. I wanted to go to Egypt. To go Egypt. To Egypt. 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 Fuerte. Egypt. Egypt. There you go. I wanted to go to Egypt. Diego. I wanted to go. Dominican Republic. <laughs> Se comió el drum para decirlo. Okay. Me llega. I wanted to go to Dominican Republic. Okay. Marilena. I wanted to go to Canada. Canada. Okay. 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 I wanted to go to Ibiza. I wanted to go to Ibiza. Bien, ¿qué ocurre aquí? Tu cerebro bloquea lo que le causa dificultad. A mis siete años, casi siete años, mi papá estaba ahorcando a mi mamá, la tenía en el cuello, cuentan ellos, ¿verdad? que yo estaba parado enfrente y me quedé en blanco, güey. En blanco. Y entonces mi papá reaccionó, la soltó porque yo estaba ido, de que tardé como, tardé como cinco minutos en reaccionar y no me acuerdo de nada de los siete para atrás ¿qué pasó? mi cerebro dijo, no, 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 vos no vas a recordar eso 
pum, borrón y cuenta nueva. De muchas cosas, ¿eh? Y ya justo en esos meses empecé a hablar con mi tío de música de Frank Sinatra, algo de lo que les contaba ayer, ¿no? El diccionario, imagínate qué interesante. O sea, la vida te quita algo muy valioso, pero al mismo tiempo, pum. ¿Ya? Entonces, ojo con eso. No dejes que te bloquee. Eso te va a pasar mucho cuando hagas oraciones negativas. Te vas a enfocar tanto en el auxiliar en negativo que se te va a olvidar el verbo. Eso es una cosa tan común. Así se lo digo. En siete años he visto que es tan común que un estudiante olvide el, en el negativo el verbo. Por es que el cerebro se clava. No se te va a olvidar el negativo. No se te va a olvidar el, no se te va a olvidar el negativo. Pero ¿y el verbo. <ríe> right. Ok. So, I wanted to go to Ibiza. Jorge. I wanted, to, I wanted to go to Spain. Very good. I wanted to go to Spain. 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 There you go. Wendy. I wanted to go to Roatán. Roatán. Okay. Very close. Mario Jose. I wanted to go to... I wanted to go... Friends. friends. I wonder if we'll be friends. Better. Very good. Norma Carolina. I wonder if go to Sweden. I wanted to go to Sweden. I wanted to go to Sweden. Repeat. I wanted to go to Sweden. I wanted to go Sweden. To Sweden. Bien. Va despacio y ahí le mete velocidad. Nelson. I wanted to go to Europe last year. Excellent. I wanted to go to Europe last year. Good job. Silvia Sulema. I wanted to go to Spain. I wanted to go to Spain. Wanted to go to Spain. No se coman en la preposición, la, la última preposición. Ok, Manuel. I wanted to go to Italy. Perfect, you got it, you got it, Mario, Mario Villeda. I wanted to go to Mexico. I wanted to go to Mexico, okay, Claudia, and we're done. I wanted to go to Switzerland. I wanted to go to Switzerland, okay, I wanted to go to Switzerland. Is this informal or formal, la típica pregunta? No, no es informal, es solamente la mejor manera de hablar, la más nativa de hablar. Eh, no me creas a mí, escucho un gringo. Ok, un americano, perdón. No. Ok. Good. Tips to improve. Antes de que pasemos el listado, ya le puedo enviar un link. Eh, se llama la técnica Jam, Just a Minute. Entonces, vean ese video, cómo aplicar el Just a Minute para mejorar la velocidad de, al hablar. Porque el problema es que no se te vienen las ideas a la cabeza. Entonces, cómo volver más fluido tu pensamiento. Eso es muy importante. Ok. I'll see you tomorrow. Me quedo con Claudia María Méndez. ¿Sí está? ¿Sí? Meléndez. Wendy yes. <laughs> Ochoa. Okay. Um, yeah. Pronunciation is agua, agua, huevo. I want a huevo. Ya les voy a enviar el video, les voy a enviar el link al chat de, de WhatsApp para que vuelvan a esa parte de la clase y vean despacio. I wanna go. Otra vez. I wanna go. I wanna go. Así. I wanna go. go. The, the writing. Yeah, the, the writing. We, we got it. Yeah. I wanted to go to Brazil, San Miguel. Okay, let's go. I'm staying with Claudia tonight. Claudia Maria Melendez. So, Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Present. Good night. Good night. Claudia Maria Melendez Santos. Claudia Meléndez. Ok. Cristian Natalie Erazo Rogel. Present. Thank you. Um, Diana Elizabeth. Chereguino Martínez. Yes. Good night. Good night. 
Diego Armando López Rivas. I'm here. Say good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present and good night, everybody. Hey, thank you. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Present teacher. Hey, good night. <laughs> Mario José Valle Castaneda. Hey, good night. Good night. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Present. See ya. See ya. Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Present. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Good night. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Good night. <laughs> Present. <laughs> okay. Good. We're staying. <laughs> Bye, guys. You. See you tomorrow. Blessing. Oh, creo que Wendy no me entendió. Ah, no, 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 Claudia. Hello, Claudia. I'm here, I'm here. I'm sorry to <laughs> travel with my connection. Okay, don't worry. I want to turn on the camera, but I can't. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Try to this resolve. This is my one-on-one -on -one session. You got it. Okay. So, tell me about yourself. Uh, well, I am an industrial engineer. I am working in a um, fabric. Uh, in a factory? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I have 32 years old. I have two kids. Wait, wait. Um, mm -hmm. I am. I'm 32 years old. Really? 32 years old. Yes. Oh my God, I'm I'm nine years older than you. Okay. <laughs> I'm 41. <laughs> how, how, many, how many kids? So young. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Do, do you do exercise or something? A little bit. Diet, okay. most of all diet. Ah, uh, but important. you sleep well because you don't have... Um, <laughs> you I do, I do. Look, I do have... Um, black eyes, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So how many kids do you have? Two. I have one girl of nine years old and one boy of one year and a half. A year and a half? Wow. Yes. Just a baby. Yes. Wow. Okay. Have you studied English before? Um, yes, in my um, university. Mm -hmm. I could, um I studied 10, 10 models, but mm -hmm. uh, there are 20 in, in, in total. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to say, but I can practice. Uh, so you, that's- You couldn't. My, yes, I couldn't practice. In my job, mm -hmm. I cannot practice at all. But mm. it's, a, it's a requirement if you want to- Grow. Grow, uh, grow in your career in wow. a company. Yeah, so here I am. <laughs> That's interesting, but you have very good pronunciation. I think very you. good pronunciation. But sometimes I forgot how to say some words, you know, some verbs. I don't remember. Well, it's just about practicing. Yes. That, that's all. That's all. It's just practice. And don't get frustrated, right? Never get frustrated. I mean, you're learning. And something that could help you a lot is um, working in a call center. Oh, for, yeah, definitely. For a, few, <laughs> for a few months. Yeah, working in a call center for a few months, you know, it's just amazing. It, it, it works a lot. You improve your English really fast mm -hmm. because of the pressure. <laughs> you have to speak and that's the closest you get 
uh, to travel to the States, right? Basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So what do you think is the most difficult for you when learning English? Um, I think to express my, my thing or my opinion. Because I think in English, but <laughs> when I can, I, I want to talk to other person, I don't think I don't speak English. <laughs> okay, you're you're thinking in Spanish and translating yes. into into English. Yes, which is the normal thing. But the only way, the only way to change that mind setting is to switch mm -hmm. that mind setting is practicing. That's the only way. And if you have nobody to practice with, talk to yourself. I mean, really, you can talk to yourself. And listen, ahora bien, la tecnología ha avanzado tanto que yo les recomiendo en estas sesiones agarrar el teléfono, grabarse y escucharse. Um, no sé qué decir. Ese es un problema bien común, que, que no se sabe. Hola, Claudia. Claudia. I'm sorry. Ok. ¿Sí me escucha? Hoy sí. Yeah. Ok. I was fixing okay. my camera. Ok. I'm sorry. It's ok, don't worry. Algo muy común que ocurre es que no encuentro qué decir. Entonces, por ejemplo, ahí les acabo de enviar ese video, se llama Just a Minute. Y es algo que no nos enseñaron de pequeños, a hablar de cualquier cosa durante un minuto. Entonces, yo le recomiendo, para ejercitarlo, hay que hacerlo primero en español y, y después en inglés. inglés. Porque sí. lo que pasa es eso. Bueno, no todo, ¿verdad? Hay personas que son capaces de ser, eran buenísimos en el colegio, en las exposiciones y hablaban hasta por los codos y centrados. Y wow, ¿verdad? Pero hay personas a las que les cuesta y pues... Um, el cerebro necesita retomar la información de algún lado y después ya empezar a traducir. Lo primero que se experimenta es eh, 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 y se queda uno trabajando y no hay que sí. decir. Y ahí muere uno. Entonces es interesantísimo ese ejercicio. Sí ayuda mucho. Ahora lo más importante de todo es grabarse. Después de practicar varias veces hay que grabarse y escucharse. De escucharse, autocriticarse no hay nada mejor que la autocrítica bueno, yo así aprendí, como aprendí solo y pobre, no tenía con quién practicar ¿no? entonces hoy que lo pienso, parecía loco la verdad <risa> pero no me importó pero y funcionó. funcionó sí, funcionó <risa> entonces es muy importante, algo que nos dicen de pequeños que es de locos hablarse uno mismo funciona eh, sí. Entonces, eso, más que todo, ¿verdad? Para poder mejorar rapidín, ¿verdad? Y, y, inconscientemente le va a estar hablando a los niños. Si sus hijos le escuchan, porque ah, yo no me he esforzado eh, y no me he preocupado realmente en, en enseñarles. Y el mayor ya sabe bastante. Ya yo lo escucho y todo, porque ellos, cuando uno no les hace presión para que ellos aprendan algo si a ellos les gusta, de inmediato se rebuscan, o sea, es increíble es como el instinto de supervivencia del ser humano uh -huh. pues, pues él se rebuscó y, y, y solo me viene a preguntar de vez en cuando mira, ¿y eso cómo es? y eso lo claro, oh, yo gracias, me tiene tres años yo también ¿Ah? aprendió él solo también no, no, con lo de las clases en el colegio y todo. Y sí le ayudo, pero no es la gran cosa. O sea, como, como se esperaría que uno de profesor. Pero como dicen, ¿cómo es? Casa de, ¿cómo es? Casa de herrero, cuchillo de palo. Cuchillo de palo. <ríe> pues así. So, estoy a la orden. Cualquier cosa que necesite, escríbame eh, para poderle ayudar. Cualquier tip que desee. Oye, y pues Gracias. yo aquí paso tranquilo y me escribe yo le yo le contesto ok bye está bien gracias Descanse. good night gracias, gracias igual good night